on 90. So at least it's improved from yes. what we saw then and we're going to no see even cooler temperatures on the way starting tonight as a cold front moves into the area and also more rain chances on the way as we move into the afternoon and early evening hours. Tracking rain and thunderstorms out there this morning, not across northeast Oklahoma, but just off to our north and east across east central and parts of southeast Kansas over into western uh, western Missouri rather. Look at that line of thunderstorms producing some strong straight line winds, heavy amounts of rain, a lot of lightning and it's dropping off to the south southeast. So you notice and if it'll continue to hold together, it's going to push mainly across southwestern Missouri over into northwest Arkansas, but the western edges could brush parts of northeast Oklahoma here over the next couple of hours. Going to have to watch that fairly closely. Really anywhere from around Nawada and Vanita and points to the east and northeast of there has the highest opportunity for seeing some of this activity here over the next couple of hours. Here in Tulsa, most of it should stay well to the northeast of us through the morning hours. Just a slight chance of a morning shower, otherwise partly cloudy skies here in the city. 80 degrees, warm start, southwest winds currently at 9 miles per hour here in the metro, upper 70s to around 80 degrees. So getting the kids ready for the bus stop, it is another warm morning out there. We're at 78 in Peru, 78 as well in Sepulpa, 79 up in Bartlesville. We're setting at 79 as well in Coffeyville, and 75 over in Fort Smith. So temperatures are fairly uniform across eastern Oklahoma and the surrounding states. Up to the north, though, where we've seen heavy rainfall around Kansas City, temperatures have dropped into the 60s. We're seeing 60s well out to the west, but most of Oklahoma into northern Texas and Arkansas seeing those readings in the 70s and lower 80s. So as we move through the morning hours, we'll see partly cloudy skies eventually becoming mostly cloudy as we move through the morning. We'll stop it right after the midday around 1230. Here comes a cold front, a few isolated showers or storms possible along the front, but most areas will remain dry here through the morning hours, but it's in the afternoon. I expect showers and thunderstorms to develop near this cold front. A few of those storms could be strong to isolate severe with heavy amounts of rain and gusty winds possible. A lot of lightning in any storm that does develop. That cold front will continue working its way to the south during the evening and overnight hours. It'll generally shift the heaviest of the rainfall with rain and thunderstorms into southeast Oklahoma later on this evening into the overnight, and we'll see partly cloudy skies developing from the north to the south as we move through the overnight as that drier air works its way on in. 89 in Bartlesville today, 87 in Tahlequah and Grove, 90 the high here in Tulsa with that 60% chance of afternoon and early evening showers and storms. And then for tonight, much cooler, dropping into the upper 50s to low 60s, still warm, low 70s in far southeast Oklahoma, but the cooler air will continue filtering on in with lower humidity levels. Look at those high temperatures, sunshine and 84 tomorrow and Thursday, and we'll stay in the mid 80s into next weekend, and we'll see just a slight chance for showers and storms Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.